So mm -hmm. if someone is setting out to build a business and they're hiring their teams, what are some of the key components that's really important in building a successful team and being able to communicate as a leader? Yeah, well, A is value. Uh, you have to have core values and people have to be in alignment with those values. The key thing about communication key is that you first communicate through energy. And I'll give you an example. Okay. Have you ever been around someone or a friend or a coworker and you can tell something was wrong? Yes. Yeah. And they didn't have to tell you, you knew. And if they say, oh, I'm okay, but you knew it was something deeper. Mm -hmm. Or you can tell when somebody has got this joy, they got this secret, they're holding it. And even you can sometimes feel if someone's staring at you across the mall. See, first of all, that is communication. That's energy. See, so, but first of all, so when you're talking to people to enroll a team, you want to understand what your core values are and learn the right questions to ask that person and then try to validate it. But I'm a fan of personality profiles because okay. they'll tell you a lot. Right. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that. What does personality profiles mean for the listeners that are not too sure what that's all about? Yeah. Well, we break it down into four core personalities. There's several um, descriptions of it, but I call it the dolphin, the shark, the urchin, and the whale. Mm -hmm. We all have all four personalities, mm -hmm. but we're anchored in one of them. So when I'll give you an example, a shark is very motivated, aggressive. They like to win. They like success, money. They're driven by success and making money and power clothes. They like to dress. They like really nice things. And they don't have a lot of patience uh, for uh, things that are lackadaisical. They don't have a lot of patience for the passive things, okay? They can come off a little abrupt sometimes. And we all know people like that. The dolphin loves to have fun. They wear big earrings and big jewelry. They have colors in their hair. They're smiling. They're laughing. But they're not always as organized. They have a usually a the trunk trunk of their car is junky or their desk has stuff all over the place. Uh, but they're the life of the party. But they're not organized and they don't show up on time most of the time. And that's your dolphin. Your urchin, your urchin is very analytical. Uh, they like information. These would be like your engineers. They like facts. They don't like hype. Whereas a dolphin likes fun and travel. The urchin wants to learn. You have to get to the point. They're very conservative in their learning and their communication. They love things to start on time. They're very anal when it comes to that. They're very organized. Everything has a place. And then you have your well, and your well is a nurturer. They love to help and support people. They love causes. They're not driven by money. They're driven by causes. So when you're communicating, you have to speak into the, into the, into the listening of another. And if you do it effectively, you can speak into their nervous system. 